Steve with a new paint tip for you. Today we're going to be learning about a new technique called ombre. It's a, it's a new trend that's going out that a lot of faux finishers are using. So the first thing that you got to go ahead and do is pick what color you want. I'm going to do shades of blue. Blue is a very nice cool color and I'm going to work from dark to light. Now how I chose my color, I chose from Cheryl Williams deck here. I'm going to be using 6121. That's this one here, and I'm using 60, oh, I'm sorry, 6221 and 6218. Now the variation of color is very, very deep. Usually you want to work with possibly just skipping a shade, only going two shades. It's easier to fade, but um, I want a dramatic change within these two, so I'm going to use that. The first thing that you want to do is go ahead and find where you want to have the break point. So grab your level. Got my level, and just mark off where you want it. I will start off with the dark color first, the 6221. Once you get that part done, do the bottom part, the lighter color, which is 6218 is what I'm using from True Williams. If you can to save you time, the liners themselves, they're easier to just go ahead and flip out. So you can just go ahead and take this out and put the new liner in with the new paint. There's the new paint. As a painter, one of the things that we love to do that annoys everybody else while you're working is whistle. This is the HVLP. It's high volume, low pressure. It doesn't have a lot of overspray. This would be the easiest way to do the ombre. And there, my friend, is your basic technique. For ombre, we use the Dutch Dutch Thank <laughs> you. 